All right. I mean, when it comes back to around. who is a working person, I mean, somebody who owns and runs a small business, are they not a working person? They are working people. Yes, you know, right. when, so, I, when I think about the uh, election that we just went through yeah. in the constituency that I now have the honour of serving, there are people from all walks, yeah. all walks of life, people who are employees, people running their own business, people who are retired. And now their business, hard, and now their business is going to have to pay more and, in national and, insurance. And what they found is that the government wasn't on their side. That's why they rejected the Tories so roundly at the last election. That's why it's even in safe seats, like the one that you stood in, your majority fell quite a lot. You, you held on, but there were lots of your colleagues who lost because everyday people across this country found that the Tory party weren't delivering for them in government anymore. And they put their trust in people in constituencies like the one I represent that's never even well, had a Labour MP just, before. Well, just before we leave this subject, you have admitted, of course, uh, because it's true, that if you run and own a small business, you are a working person. And if national insurance contributions on employers go up, they will go up on working people. Well, look, we will have to see what comes in the budget on the 30th of October. We can speculate about all range of tax rises, as Tories love doing before budgets that Labour will deliver. We'll see what's in the budget. All I'm right. confident about what it will what contain, and I'm sort of looking forward to seeing what the Chancellor will say. As about. we all are, finally. Because